Hi, Connect Groups, and happy Thursday. We're in 1 Peter uh, chapter 3, verses 13 through 17, with our focus uh, last Sunday being on verse 13, which reads this. Now, who is there to harm you if you are zealous for what is good? Peter's asking a rhetorical question that sets up the answer in verse 14. But even if you should suffer for righteousness' sake, you will be blessed. So have no fear of them. And the context of history would suggest, here's a, uh, our brothers and sisters in Christ 2,000 years ago, thinking about the implications of suffering for Jesus. Maybe from the Roman Empire, but as many commentators suggested, it's probably more just from those around them, neighbors, co-workers, the immediacy of life. Sometimes when people find out we're a Christian, there is a negative implication. They feel threatened. They don't like us. We're living life in a different way, and it makes them feel uncomfortable. I don't know all the reasons, but what's clear is that there are times and moments where being a Christ follower will not make the people around us happy. And we may suffer some injustice or persecution or insult or uh, defamatory remarks or a whole host of, of negative consequences. And what Peter's reminding his uh, audience and, and also reminding us is, hey, who cares? If we're excited or zealous for doing what's good, you will be blessed, blessed by God. And in this way, it's a great reminder for us in the 21st century that our goal is not to uh, worry about how other people perceive us as much as we're to consider doing good in the name of Jesus Christ. And he goes on, and I encourage you to read, we're to hold Christ, we're to regard Christ in our hearts. We're doing this goodness because we love Christ. So let's remember, we're not made um, uh, to do good works and be saved. We're saved and then made to do good works through our new life. So our good works are not meant to make us right with God. They're meant to be a blessing to the world and the people around us. So I was very gripped with um, this idea of being zealous for doing good. So I'm going to ask you and your group to consider uh, just a basic question about being zealous, which means to be excited, passionate, enthusiastic. Let's just talk about being an enthusiastic person. So a question you can ask yourselves is, what makes um, you excited about life or excited about your faith? What builds you up to where you say, you know, I'm, I'm passionate. I'm no longer going through the motions. I'm super excited. For me, often it's being around other people who are really filled with faith and excited about Jesus. So as I mentioned on Sunday, I was at a conference with people um, all dedicating their time and energy towards giving God's Word to every child in the world. And in that environment, hearing stories and testimonies and worshiping, it was like everyone was on that same page. And in that unity, I could uh, not only sense the presence of the Lord, but I was encouraged. I was built up. I was like, let's go. And that's what we're talking about, is what are the factors that, that influence you to make you more passionate in life, in your life of faith. And then secondly, what about the um, passion for doing good? So talk about doing good. How do we perceive that? The good deeds that we do, the, uh, the goodness we try to show people, the good behavior, the good attitude. Do we find ourselves right now doing things that are good because we feel we have to? Uh, how do you find yourself in this moment um, doing good? Are you obligated in some way? Is it part of your duty? Or perhaps you find passion right now in your life and you're particularly enthusiastic about something going on in your life. And in this way, we may be able to pray one for another so that we can all understand the pursuit of doing good requires some amount of passion and if we're currently struggling to be passionate, this is a moment perhaps for those in the group to encourage, to build you up. Let this connect group become like what I experienced at the One Hope Conference. An opportunity for praise and testimony and encouragement and prayer and laying on of hands. 
so that we can move from the connect group filled up, excited about Jesus, excited about doing good in his name. For others who are there in the group, you say, you know, I'm in this great moment. I'm super passionate. I'm zealous for what God has going. Share that with everyone. Let that enthusiasm seep out of you and influence everyone around you. And perhaps share some stories about what God is doing to glorify God. And by doing so, you're going to help kind of build up everyone else in the group. And we all need that. When we're feeling down, it's great to be around others who could pick us up. And when we're up, it's great to look around and say, how can I encourage others and bring them up? So enjoy your time and your conversation. And I do pray that we would be a passionate people, zealous for doing good. Uh, I often find myself struggling uh, where I'll go from a high point uh, feeling this is a great opportunity and I'm so privileged and blessed that I could be a part of what God's doing. And then, you know, maybe within the same day or the same week, I go, oh, I can't believe I have to do this. This is incredible. So if you're like me, you might have some ebb and flow in your daily attitude, in your daily or weekly attitude. Uh, and that may be normal for you. It certainly feels normal for me. But what I do is come back to the Lord and say, Lord, remind me of what's important. And when I'm feeling really under it, when I'm feeling like, man, this feels like I'm just all about duty and what I have to do. That's a reminder to me that I just need time with Jesus. Time to pray, time to read, uh, time to maybe take out the guitar and sing some songs. Just time with Jesus where it's not about doing good to anyone else, but simply being in his good presence. And that is always like taking a wonderful uh, cleansing bath, just being washed and renewed and refreshed, like going to a spiritual spa and coming out rejuvenated, saying, Lord, thank you for setting my mind and my attitude right and letting me be excited again simply for Jesus. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your conversation. And um, we love you. Thank you for being a part of a connect group.